Welcome back, YouTubes, to my channel of an everyday encounter and the Lord in our life of an aspect. This is part two, pretty much, of my anxiety series, pretty much, which will be called Panic Attacks of the chapter Help Me, I Can't Breathe, which is part two. Alright. I shared in touch briefly, however, about social anxiety and isolation and all these other bits and pieces that comes about with pretty much the anxiety and the different degrees of categories of these social anxiety that will come later on the piece what it feels like for me suffering from anxiety sort of thing and all these other encounterships along the way it's about all about my experiences and knowledges knowledge and research that i have done up for myself even though like i said so many times before to remind you all that i am no doctor i'm just sharing out what what i feel is right for you guys to take it or leave it as a piece that will hopefully create a better understanding of me as a person sort of thing as we share together and walk together in my journey and shoes of this and more many people may laugh and joke around to say what I'm sharing yet that's them all together and that's the oblivion and blunt and ignorance or arrogance that they know know it all or they think they know it all so to speak when they clearly don't pretty much until as i said so many times before they experience this, the, what we experience in general even though many other people around us will experience certain things that we may not understand and have want the answers there and then but sometimes some answers pretty much won't be there until we pretty much obviously be the ones to put it into action however it may be so I thought to share more about anxieties to give you an eye up now and also to pretty much join me for the journey of the ride and the ride that's coming with this anxiety topic that will create an eye up and also hopefully give you guys an open mind sort of thing of these differences of anxiety no matter what it may be however as well as sharing my life story. Anyway as I mentioned before that there are six different categories to these different elements of anxiety no matter what it may be and the first three that will be said about is usually the most common ones yet again they are all the ones we tend to encounter one day in our lives regardless of what it may be these three are the general anxiety disorder panic disorders and social anxiety as i've shared so many times before about this series of social anxiety if you want to read that piece or watch that piece of my story of the social anxiety to get to grips how it may affect me and others around me to do so it's on my channel all of these disorders however i shall call for now has similar similarities to an extent however and some may be the dif some differences between them but all in all in fairness though they obviously work together hand in hand so i'll talk and address to you a lot more about the yeah, topic right now of the panic attacks and disorders hopefully more in depth to the one that I said in the first one, what causes the panic attacks and panic disorders. Okay, right now the best place to be is what is a panic attack? I'll hear you say or think that you're questioning me. Many people misunderstand or misinterpret what a panic attack really is, however, which is normal, obviously, as I said, because obviously, you know, lack of understanding or knowledge. That's why we have to do our research for ourselves, maybe to us, to ourselves or for others around us. Hence why I'm in the flesh right now sharing you all what it is. So let's hopefully get a clearer, better understanding to hopefully what I'm going to say. Hopefully it won't confuse you at all, but if it does, please let me know in the comments below. Panic attacks is a natural chemical response from the brain of the flight and fright response or the three Fs. <clears throat> as I call them, that are sending messages to our brain and the chemical messages to the brain to how we should react in a given situation, whatever it may be, to fight, flight, fright, hence the three Fs. Sometimes, however, with these chemical responses that put our body into strain so much that it will tend to basically send our body and mind so much to overdrive mode. And everyone, obviously, with this instinct, will tend to maybe... A, fight the feeling or they may feel a fright of some sort sort of thing and then if we didn't have that kind of instinct however we need to be in mind 
you know, wouldn't be alive and kicking, for starters, and that we wouldn't be humans. We, we would just be robots, obviously, with all these hormones and all these other bits and pieces behind us. It's got to remember it's natural and normal, obviously, for these flight, fight, fright responses coming, as well as these panic attacks, but then again, you got to real, realise that, you know, if it occurs too much, then we tend to question why it is. Plus, it's part of our DNA makeup, obviously, with this three Fs, pretty much, of how it's going, this sort of thing, and that's what, once in a while, it comes and goes and occurs once in a while, maybe, for us, be it, like, for example, for a panic attack to occur, maybe some sort of an event that we're facing of our everyday struggles or just something new, be it just like we're, we're meeting new people or maybe we're getting ready for a job interview for the first time or even just meeting a meeting that we have to do in a business setting sort of thing. Or even for me sometimes, my panic attack sometimes comes when I'm in a social circle or even basically sitting down in a room full of people with exams sort of thing. It used to happen to me a lot back in the days in high school. <clears throat> Sometimes, however, we got to remember that with the panic attacks, it can cause so much range of intensity of feelings and emotions that races around, as well as all these classic symptoms that basically will come about, be it our heart beating fast, we have sweaty hands, then we feel hot, cold sometimes maybe. Some of us may just feel numb in the hands and feet. Pretty much. Also, another one is heavy breathing. We're hyperventilating, you know, as if we're trying to swallow and breathe and, you know, gasping for air. But how I'm looking at it right now, just imagine we're in a race. You know, the starting line, you're getting nervous, excited, anticipated, ready to go, pretty much. And and you're waiting for that gunshot, you know, and the marks get set. The gun goes. This basically comes down to the main hormone, which is called the adrenaline. Adrenaline usually is being released to create extra energy for your body to cope when the body is overworking itself and working to the extreme. Adrenaline is a hormone that gives body more stamina, power and energy. Meanwhile, you're now running hard and fast to keep up with all this chemical balances of your body, pretty much. Despite all these mixed feelings and emotions rolling under one, of these will come into your classic symptoms of obviously when this panic anxiety attacks occur that will sometimes some of them will show up unannounced uninvited or pretty much just straight out of the blue real quick like i don't know a few split seconds shall we say while still running however you feel tired exhausted lightheaded groggy sore and a bit of excitement as well as being happy that after you're competing or running that race it will soon be over this is one classic example for you to share, however, what a panic attack is and feels like for people that suffers it. Others may define their panic attacks differently to others, however. But I thought this one would be a classic one to just, just share with you all and hopefully gain you, get you guys a better understanding to, to what it is all about. I just hope that so far my definition and experience of panic attacks is not confusing anyone and that the understanding will become a better one for now and also, as I said, an eye-opener and pretty much people have an open mind to what they really are so that hopefully, now and again, that if they see someone that suffers from a panic attack, after I'm sharing with you guys the treatments and therapies, that you can be of help to that person. Right, I'm going to now hopefully share briefly, hopefully, about these classic symptoms or signs of a panic attack while you're still running in the race. However, running around on the track, you know, as I said, you know, heavy heart and breathing, irregular heartbeat, sometimes, you know, you're having that heavy breathing or whatever else. And that obviously you're working your body so hard to the point that your heart's pumping faster, harder, and it needs more oxygen around the body sort of thing. To, or shall we say more blood flowing to the right parts of the body where it needs it most. This will differ to everyone while they're experiencing this panic attack, however. Some may experience pain in the arms, one of the arms, similar, quite similarly like a heart attack, you know, sort of things, classic symptom. Another one is an allergy re reaction due to pretty much their throats closing up, like I said before, that they're pretty much trying to find ways to breathe, be it whatever it may be, you know, and they're panting, gasping, whatever it may be. Some may end up hyperventilating to the point of the trouble breathing stage, you know, and that 
the breathing is like really fast, deep and sort of thing. They're struggling for air yet again. This is due to the loss of control of breathing, which is another classic symptom for a panic attack to occur. Getting our breathing back in again will then give us the full control to these other symptoms that I'm sharing with you to stop that panic attack occurring. Is then saying the majority of some situations we face is in the mind. Mind over matter. Mind is like the powerhouse and the pillar tool of our body. They can it can destroy to destroy you. Or can benefit for you, depending on the power of our thoughts. The symptoms of irregular heartbeat and hyperventilating is the most prominent ones as we're slowly trying to focus before we lose control, per pretty much, of what we're going through of that panic attack. Sometimes some people think that they're in control while these panic attacks are happening, regardless what they're facing, be it, like I said, for these classic examples, meeting someone new, sitting down for exams, or sitting down for an interview for the first time, you know, preparing it, or whatever the case may be. Dizziness is another classic sign, obviously, however, for a panic attack. The oxygen, pretty much as well as the carbon dioxide in our blood, is abnormal that will create our body to fight whatever energy we have left, sort of thing. Another one is sickness. Digestion system will slowly shut down, pretty much, but then again, sometimes, if we're lucky enough, when that panic attack occurs, just eat small amount of foods, slowly, not fast, however, many people make that mistake. Seven, sweating, I just said, numb feet and hands. And nine is tips of our fingers and toes are blue, normal, which is normal, obviously, due to the lack of blood going through the body. Ten is, like, you're feeling faint and then you're blackout sort of thing, to the point of, like, wondering where you've got to sometimes, or, as they say, the loss of consciousness, or sometimes then maybe, maybe deep in thought. Who knows? But... This ends basically the one of the information of the classic panic attack or panic anxiety attacks. Pretty much, hopefully this gels of knowledge has given you something to think about and have a better understanding to clear it up from the misunderstandings of what a panic attack really is, along with its classic symptoms. If you're facing any of the symptoms mentioned, pretty much, as I said, hopefully and the next one will be these tips and techniques that will hopefully help you guys along the way. Sort of thing. As always, like, comment, share my videos. Give me a heads up about what you think about it. And also, hopefully, if you've got any other topics, bear in mind sort of thing for me to share. Let me know. So thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.